Hi everyone. So in honor of International Whiskey Day, I decided to share some current picks of whiskies I think that you should definitely have in your bar. I've tried to include a range, some for those casual party nights, some for the more polished malt evenings, some that are really easy on your pocket and some you're only going to want to pull out for someone you truly love. Um, the main objective here was availability. So all of the whiskies that I'm going to be talking about are available across the main cities and states in India, so you shouldn't have too hard a time getting your hands on them. So I'm going to begin with a homegrown whiskey. Paul John is an Indian single malt that's been hugely successful, even internationally. They've won a bunch of awards. This is the Paul John Bold, which is their peated version. Peat is what gives whiskey that smoky flavor. So I love my peat, but it can get a bit much sometimes. Um, for someone that hasn't fully turned to drinking peaty styles, this is an ideal introduction because there's uh, smoke there, but it's balanced by a lot of honeyed sweet notes. So very sippable for a new drinker, but also a connoisseur. And also how great is it that we have quality single malts that are made in our own backyards now. So definitely one to have in your bar. Now to Scotland. So the Singleton is a single malt scotch brand that is made in three different distilleries and each is bottled separately. So until now we've had a different Singleton that's been available here, but this one, the Singleton of Glendillan, 12 year old, is a very recent addition. To me, it's a delicate and fresh style of whiskey. It's also quite versatile and I think it's one of those that's a definite crowd pleaser. Um, I've always loved the look of the Singleton, but what I also find attractive is the price. Considering our laws, um, a quality 12 year old from an established distillery at under 5,000 is a good deal and this is at around rupees 4,800 in Delhi. Uh, so try it and if you enjoy this style, uh, keep an eye out for the 15 and 18 year olds, both of which are launching very soon. Caskmates is what you get when you take Jameson, dunk it in a barrel that previously held craft beer, specifically stout. Uh, so there's notes of chocolate, coffee, and some nuttiness in there. Uh, apart from the staple Jameson, this triple distilled Irish whiskey is one that I love to have in my bar. Um, it's approachable and affordable, it's an easy drink, it works in cocktails, and if someone decides to drown it in coke, uh, I won't get a panic attack. So a cool one to pick up, Jameson Castmates. So my favorite thing about this next whiskey is the story behind it. So 20 whiskey experts from around the world were invited to the Glenfiddich distillery in Scotland and they were given free reign to choose one out of thousands of casks in the warehouse. I think that's the definition of a dream job by the way. Um, but anyway, so once they selected these 20 casks, they were blended and matured together and turned into this delicious, deep, um, rich dram, which is bottled as Project 20, denoted by the XX there. Uh, another fun story, uh, this thumbprint that you see on the bottle is actually a fusion of the prints of the 20 people that uh, helped create this whiskey. Uh, so there, now you have a cool story to serve with a very cool drum. Despite all the single malt snobbery going around nowadays, every bar needs a blended whiskey. There are a bunch of traditional and premium whiskey, blended whiskies that are available in India. So there's a lot to choose from. Uh, but the one I picked for today is a fun, youthful one, Monkey Shoulder. Uh, this is a blend of three malts from uh, the Speyside region in Scotland. It's a quirky bottle, it works really well in a cocktail and has been christened the most trending whiskey in the world five years in a row. Um, in terms of taste, I would say it is smooth, it is uh, sweet with a lot of warm spice. Um, very, very easy to take too. So, Try it out. This is for one of those special evenings. Glen Morangie is a Scottish distillery that I really like. Their original is, in my opinion, one of the best 10 year old whiskies out there. This is the Glen Morangie 18 year old. Uh, it's a rich and complex dram. I didn't know until recently it was even available here. Um, I tried it on one of my trips abroad and loved it and hence I chose to include it here. Uh, so just a cube of ice or a splash of water is really all you need. And um, it, even though age has made it complex and creamy and, and has given it this richness, there's also this youthfulness about it and together that's what makes it an enjoyable sip. And if you're looking for something special to add to your collection, this is a great one to consider. I suggest though that you tuck it away and pull it out only for someone who's going to truly appreciate it. 
Uh, I love to share my whiskey and I'm very good with it. But um, this is one of those that I'm slightly selfish about. So that rounds up my International Whiskey Day list for this year. Uh, I know you're probably wondering where the American and Japanese whiskeys are and uh, the only reason they aren't part of this is because the agenda here was to make sure that all of these brands are locally available and uh, there were no American or Japanese ones that I thought were especially interesting or worth the price they're at and the ones that were are quite difficult to track down. So um, these are the ones that made the cut this year and uh, there's tons more in terms of tasting notes and cool stories about these brands on the blog so please go to gigglewater411.com and check it out and also leave me a comment let me know if there are any staples that uh, you have in your bar that you keep replenishing and um, have a good one it is uh, 10 a.m i guess that's okay cheers <laughs>